I'd say one of the biggest tips for me and how I became a lot more profitable was actually ordering my own food. So instead of using the automatic delivery, I try to keep 20 of each of my key ingredients in stock. And when I notice one getting pretty low, I'll do an order and I'll order everything in at once. And I'll get all my stock levels back up to roughly where I want them. And I'll let that delivery come in. And I'll use this process instead of doing the automatic. I find that I actually save money doing this way because I'm not over ordering on stuff that's not popular. And little bonus tip for this one is even when the delivery man is walking through your front door, which we'll totally do in a minute, you can actually increase the amount. So as long as the items are showing down here, it doesn't matter if he's already here with his delivery or not. You can increase the amount that he's going to actually deliver. And then, so as you see, he's walking in with the box, but we're going to top all these up to 20. And then when he drops the box off, you see how they all pretty much got up there. So little bonus tip, but yeah, I'd say number one, always, always do your own food. Ignore the automatic process because when you're trying to build up this profit, it's uh, it's good to know what's needed and not have too much on the shelf. Number two is actually upgrading and don't remove. It's tempting that if you want to upgrade, say this bar stool, to get rid of it. But the better thing to do is actually to work with the tables initially. So let's say I have an old table and an old chair. And the first thing I'll look at is the decor. Now, as you can see, the, the bread, they're a bit negative. Customers aren't a big fan of these. Now, what you can do is as you're getting more money and more profits, you can get a new item, place it on top, and it'll actually do an upgrade. So instead of you having to sell and rebuy and it costing you more, you can do an upgrade. And as you can see, that is better for my decor value. So as you're keeping an eye on this decor rating that your customers are giving you, and you're getting more profits, to increase that, look at doing upgrades. And you can do it with all of the tables that are up in this top level and all the chairs in this second level as well. And they'll all work the exact same way. You just click on top to do the upgrade. So when you're first starting out, you want to add as many different dishes to the menu as you want. You can. You look at this menu and you go, oh, I'd love to serve all these in my restaurant. But what you need to do is be a bit tactical about the order that you start adding them to the menu, especially when you're starting out. So the first thing you'll get on the menu is the fries. And with this, you'll get the uh, deep fried fryer, the chopping board, potatoes as a delivery and the plates. From here, you actually wanna go and get the nuggets. So you'll start ordering the chickens in. They'll use all the same equipment as the previous item on the menu. From here, I'd say what you wanna do is go for the soup. So when you add the soup to the menu, you're actually gonna order in um, a stove, and some pans to actually cook stuff in and some bowls. You'll start obviously ordering tomatoes as well. But what you've done then is you've also given yourself the option that you can put chicken on the menu just by adding wine as well. And once you've got that on the menu, if you order some wine glasses, you can put wine on too. And I'd say that's the order. If you go one, two, three, four, five, the first five dishes you wanna get on the menu. And to be fair, you could run your restaurant with them but then if you want to start adding other stuff there's another four things that you can add here all right so here's one it feels like it is obvious but don't forget hygiene don't forget the basics make sure you've got a toilet sinks in your restaurant but the main thing i'd say is if you come down to this menu which is like the priorities menu for your staff make sure you've got someone that's dedicated to cleaning because you'll start getting all these like dirt speckles on your carpet and the toilets only clean after you people use them and stuff and you want to make sure all that's like really good get this hygiene level up and people are going to want to come to your restaurant more often i'd also make sure that you put some rat traps somewhere potentially in your kitchen just in case because every so often you might get a little rat just sneaking around 
and it always makes me laugh that people just continue to eat the food as the rats going past but yeah don't forget the basics thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button to let me know i'll have more videos soon so if you don't want to miss out make sure to hit that sub too but until next time have a great day and i'll catch you soon